all right thank you guys for tuning in and for subscribing to my channel thank you for the dms for the feedback i'm getting you guys are just amazing thank you thank you for those who have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and let's learn more about farming today we are going to talk about seedbed making all right some of you wonder how do you make a seedbed that the seedlings are going to generate properly let's watch this video and let's learn So we are mixing the chicken manure with soil. This is where we are going to do our seed bed. Um, we're going to create a nice path over there. Now, ideally, the width of your seed bed should be a meter wide for easy movement. But some of us are tall enough to <laughs> cross from one end to the other. So one meter, that's the ideal uh, length, whatever should be. 5 meters, 10 meters, whatever length of your seed bed, depending on the number of uh, seeds you are sowing. So, this is how I do it. This is my style of doing it. Uh, there are many, many ways of raising, I mean, preparing a seed bed. This is my style. That's my favorite Catholic song. I'm not a Catholic, but I love that song. So I'm making sure that uh, the soil is wet, just a little bit wet. So, then you see a magic kidogo, kidogo, kidogo. Once the water is soaked in just a little bit, I make sure that uh, we remove all these lumps of soil and I just move them in my seat bed like that. So I think what I'm doing is akin to when ladies are applying some um, foundation on their faces. I hear my friends uh, Nancy Moy and Joanna Kenothia on their YouTube uh, channels. They say, oh guys, welcome to my channel. You know what I'm doing right now is applying some foundation, whatever they do. So it's more or less the same thing I'm doing, just preparing the foundation of my seedbed. Nafanya ivo, nafanya ivo, namisho kila kitu iko. So once the water has soaked in nicely, I make my lines with a stick. I like straight lines. Straight lines, blame it on OCD. Even in high school, I was really good at math. Well, not quite good, but I was good at making straight lines, underlining my book. Guys, what do you want? Do we do skmawiki? Do we do spinach? What do you want? Uh, inky pinky ponky for the head of donkey. Um, I'm thinking. So, can we do half spinach? No, no, no. If we do half spinach, half skmawiki, my OCD would allow. I want something neat. So, let's do spinach because I love spinach. So, let me go get spinach seeds and uh, let's do it. Uh, this is the Ford Hook Giant. They are for the giant, but this is from Simlo Seeds. Um, the trick with spinach is just so sparingly. Pana mwaga mingi, see what I'm doing? Pana mwaga mingi. Hey, na Simlo Seeds, mulete advert. Nia pana fanyenye ni advert bure, mutafute. Hapa ndi puna kubaliwa kumwaga pole pole. Not too deep in the line. So if you look at the distance from one line to the other, it's about it's about 20 centimeters. It's actually 20. From my thumb to my middle finger, this is exactly 20 centimeters. So when the spinach germinate from this line and the others from this other line, there is space here for weeding and the farm is going to look neat. So I prefer my lines instead of just broadcasting my seeds all over. Sawa, sawa. All right, my other trick of uh, covering the seeds is I make sure I get very fine, loose soil 
so that my seeds will have an easy time breaking off. So I just cover loosely like that. I find some people with seed beds. There's such a huge lump of soil like this one covering the seed like that. I mean, the seed sometimes won't even germinate. Or if it tries to germinate, it's going to be difficult. It's going to have a rough time trying to germinate. So smooth soil. So remember after you've done this, you're going to, some people get uh, some mulch, some dry grass and cover it and then water. So whichever is your style, go for it. I hope you've learned how to prepare your seedbed, how to make nice lines and if you're the one who was making that mistake of broadcasting your seeds all over and wondering why you're getting a very poor germination rate, why you are quote unquote shooting blanks on your seedbed, now you know where you are going wrong. Um, if you like this video and you have not subscribed, you know what to do. Click that button, subscribe, share it, tell your friends, tell your relatives, your landlord, everybody to subscribe. I've been Caleb Karoga. Remember, ukulima sio ushamba.